Today, we are going to be using the world's smallest fishing rod going head to head 1v1 to see who can catch five fish the fastest. We have got two of these tiny but mighty fishing combos right here. I have personally never used this before and I also bought some really, really small baits. These are hard baits. This is a little crawfish. This is a little bait minnow and these are the same way. And me and Mr. Noah. What's good, people? It's been a minute, A Dub. Hey, you gotta, dab, you gotta dab me up on the. <laughs> we, <laughs> we tried, man. <laughs> we tried. Hey, we're gonna be doing a little 1v1, and these are the rules, man. It's the first person to catch five fish. But there's a spin, A Dub, right? There's a spin. There's a, there's a little spin. There's a spin. So, A Dub was telling me we have to at least catch one fish on one of the micro crankbaits. But he has a whole tackle box. Filled with baits, so we can go throw some big swim baits on these rods, if it's even possible. A frog. We could throw a frog on these rods, we could throw random top waters, we could throw big, I mean, we can throw anything yep. on these rods, but the one rule, at least one of the five fish has to come on these micro lures. So those are the rules. First person to five fish wins. I'm feeling pretty confident. I'm not gonna say that I use small rods like this all the time, but I know that I can catch some bass. You've got a lot of practice, haven't you? Yeah, well. You, you've been throwing it for a while, yeah, a couple yeah. of reps. You know, I'm just a barbie rod kind of guy. I just like to go out and use my barbie rods in fishing tournaments, take everybody's money, you know, the usual. Hey. So yeah, let's grab all of our stuff and we're gonna start fishing. We've got a couple different baits in the truck. I'll show you guys what we're working with, what we decide to tie on. But this is it right here. We have no idea how these are gonna work. We're just gonna try it out and see. Might catch a 10 pounder on it, might catch a two pounder on it, might catch a half pounder on it or either a 14 way, pounder yeah either 14 way pounder. it's gonna be fun because this thing right here is tiny all right cracking her open these are some don't tell yourself a nice very dull listen dude you know what i got a better trick give me a sec okay he thinks he's got skizzers but does he have skizzers we don't know he's got skizzers skizzers yeah those are some tiny zip ties dude what is this it's wire for what you have to thread oh. Don't, oh, dude, what are you doing? I think those hooks are just the size for that. <laughs> you have to take the wire and use it to thread your line. What? Yeah, because it has to go through this little tube. See, I told you guys, he's used these before. I haven't. I was just reading it. <laughs> Do you know how to read? Hey, man, I'm kind of excited. I've never been so excited to use a one-foot rod in my life. It's actually about two foot when you extend it out. It's got extendo mode. A little extender. Dude, I'm like an old man, man. I can't be bending down. When you hit about 25 years old, you know, things start to happen. I hate, I, I, I low-key hate when they, when that went, my own fishing combos got zip ties there, but like I hate it because you kind of scratch up the reel, you know what I mean? There's like no good way of getting this off. And, th and this reel is just a beaut, you know? It's a beautiful. It's a freaking beaut. Probably the best combo you'll ever touch. Oh yeah. I mean, oh my dog. Well, there we go, boys. That is the, Wait, let me. Oh. That's it right there. 20 bucks well, from like, Walmart. You said it was going to extend another foot. That's it? <laughs> I didn't know it Get another that dang short. four inches out of that <laughs> puppy. You know, I was telling A Dub, I'm actually really impressed with how like mechanical that little reel looks. Like it feels solid, bro. What in the world? Hey, man. Maybe I need some assistance. Tell me how the heck do you get that one pound test <laughs> tooth floss off that dang thing? <laughs> Okay, after about 75 years, we uh, finally got these things to where they're in working order. Two hours later. We have we have the wire fed through them, right here. The wire's through. You have to tie your line to that. Pull it all the way out the top. You see my little wire? Yeah, I'm about to demonstrate. And then we should be able to tie on baits. I don't know about Ada, but I ain't, am not used to playing with small rods. <laughs> Oh yeah. Got it. There we go. Look at our That's dental floss. Works. Look, now we've got the line right there. Beautiful. All right, we're rigged up. All right, boys, see that tip action? <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of tip action there. So I'm actually gonna go a different route. I think A-Dub told me that he's actually gonna pick out a 10 inch swim bait to start out. No, don't plan on doing that. But I wanna use this mini little munchkin, dude. He's gonna go ahead and knock that bait out. That looks yummy. Yeah, it yeah, looks really good. I definitely, so like at the end of the day, if we have to catch one fish on one of these baits, I kinda just wanna get it out of the way. This is either where challenges go really good for me or they go really bad. <laughs> like earlier today, I, I thought I had a good idea and it, it kinda went south. So hopefully this doesn't mess me up. Dude, this is actually thinner than than uh 
Dental floss. Dental floss. Yeah, dental floss would definitely be better than this. Look at that, though, dude. We're gonna have some drag screaming action. So, eat up. Hold on, dude. Whether you wanted to or not, I'm doing it. I gotta make a practice cast. Practice Are you down with cast. it? I'm down. Okay, this is actually not the pond that we're starting off at, but I kind of want to try it. Okay. I, know, I think that the bigger baits, you can definitely cast them good, but we're going to see how good that small bait actually does. I just want to see. I'm He's like, probably hey. going to catch one. <laughs> I want to catch one on my first cast and wish we were at the other pond. So, obviously, if you have other reels, you're going to try to pull your drag there, but with the line going through, like, you can't pull it. You got to do the little minus plus button. Okay. Dude, I need to be careful. <laughs> I don't feel like it's I have a hundred pound fishing ASMR. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude! I almost <laughs> threw the whole thing in the water. <laughs> that would have sucked. That wasn't that bad that for that small bait. That was actually a pretty good cast. I feel absolutely nothing, bro. <laughs> like I feel zero. It's like I'm fishing with a PVC pipe, bro. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, that's not bad, dude. No, it's not bad. We can definitely work with that. <laughs> oh, dude, this is... Dude, oh, I told you. Dude, I told, no. you. I told you. No way. <laughs> oh, dude, I actually got him, dude. No I knew it was going to happen on the test cast. No shot. He hammered it, too, dude. That's there the ain't, listen, fish. there ain't no making that up, baby. That's, that's a beaut. Lunker, bro. The bait looks really good, though. Hook. Look, he, yeah, he literally got the hook. He literally got the hook perfectly. Beautiful markings on him. Okay, man. <laughs> well, it worked. Uh, that was a pretty good little <laughs> test run. Second cast, we caught a lunker. Lunker? Definitely my PB bluegill. <laughs> Uh, listen, I think it's time to go to the pond, but first you got to show the people what you're throwing. You got to show them the 10 inch swim bait, man. Yeah, 10 inch, 10 inch swim bait. I'm not doing that. So I think what I'm going to roll with is going to be a stick bait. I have a couple different ones. I have a watermelon red black. I have a watermelon red flake and a green pumpkin. And I think I'm going to start off with the watermelon red flake maybe. And we're just going to throw that on one of these little hooks over here. Can't even get it out. Let's just use that, and then we're going to use, there we go, these right here. That's spicy. Can we just admire this, though? Look at how beautiful that is, dude. <laughs> that's, that's a <laughs> fish catching machine. What happened, dude? Well, I just put on my stick bait. Decided, hey, let me go make another a little cast real quick. Test it out. Made a great cast, but my line broke. So... <laughs> Dude, I was actually really impressed. I thought you just came. Yeah, it went, it went almost to the other side of the pond. But the thing is, is that it was just a bait. There was no line attached. <laughs> a little less muscle power. What just happened? Did it just break? Nice. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I appreciate it, sir. You're welcome, sir. Are you ready, sir? I'm ready. I just got to try not to break off. Check our drag. Loose? Great. All right, dude, you ready? I'm ready. A challenge? I might go down to this little corner right here. Okay. I think I remember I've caught some fish down here in this corner. The water's kind of muddy, isn't it? Yeah, it is pretty muddy. Hey, just make sure you don't throw your rod in the water. I'm telling you. I just got to make sure I don't just throw my bait off. I can definitely cast further than that, but we're just going to roll with this. I can actually feel my bait on there, but this is definitely not easy. But I'm still hoping that the old trusty stick bait is going to help me out here all right <laughs> look at that little parallel cast this is probably the hardest part is like the gear ratio is so slow that this crankbait's almost like twirling i have no idea how i caught a fish on it right away to be honest with you oh my gosh i almost threw it in the water again i'm telling you this this don't give you too much real estate to hold on oh Come on. Oh. All right, boys. So there's a little spot in this back corner that usually has a lot of fish. I haven't fished this dang pond, and I can tell you how long, but usually some fish in this back corner. That was actually a pretty good cast. I'm just one-handing it. Every time I pull on my bait, my drag slips. I don't really think that's a good thing. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, oh, dude. Oh my God. That was a bass, man. That was a freaking little nice one too. He, he destroyed it. Here we go. Dude, he went crazy on that thing. Hold on, man. That was insane. Let's see if we can catch him. Come on, baby. Bite me again. I think I might have scared him. I, I freaked out more than him. His blow up was a little crazy. I guess this little parallel cast, kind of parallel cast, I don't really know. Might have done the trick there. Seeing a lot of fish activity down here. Seeing a lot of stuff moving. All right, boys. Oh, baby bass. I mean, I'm talking, oh my gosh, micro bass. Yo, oh, he, he almost ate it, dude. He literally, I had him on for like 0.2 seconds. I'm talking baby, baby bass. And I couldn't catch him on any other bait. Let's throw it back in there. It wasn't a good one like that first bite. Let's see if we can get him to bite again. Oh. Dude, they're biting me. They're, they're like tiny bass, man. Oh my gosh, come on. This is crazy. Oh no, it looks like A-Dub's hooked up. You got one? Oh, I got one. Actually, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Dude, I was convinced I had a bass. Oh, I got it out. Did I get up? Did I get my bait? Oh, yes. Okay. I got stuck. I couldn't feel anything with this uh, very stiff rod. That's a fish. That's a fish. That's a fish. My drag is slipping. Yes. 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 Is this big? Dude, it's actually acting kind of big. But it might just be a dink and I just can't tell. Oh my gosh. What do I have? I cannot catch up to him. Ugh. 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 Okay, he's not big at all. He's very small. But on this rod, he feels like a 10 pounder. <laughs> I'm not gonna try boat flipping this because it is just not gonna work out. Eh. Yes, let's go, dude. <laughs> we just caught our first one on this. The rod is almost the size of this bass. That was a fight right there. That was exhilarating. If you wanna have a fun fight on your hands, this right here is the way to do it. Goodness gracious, dude. That's our first fish of the day. I think I'm just gonna throw another stick bait on here and we're gonna see if we can catch another one because honestly, that happened kind of fast. Oh, come on. Come on. Mmm. I was really expecting some fish to be in this corner. I hope we can just knock this bait out real quick. Yeah, I see A-Dub up here. I kinda wanna just keep walking around. Did you catch a big one? Did you catch a big one? No, I mean, it was a small bass, but it was a bass. Did you, have you had any bites? I'm fishing for squirrels. Dude, I had a crazy, like, blow up, like a twirl. Yeah, it was, like, right over there on that corner right when we started. And then I had some, like, micro bass chasing it, but I didn't have anything in that corner. Yeah. Oh, my bad. He just crossed my line. <laughs> just wait, dude. I'm gonna get drilled. <laughs> what? Kaboom. <laughs> what are you laughing about? <laughs> You gotta burn that thing. You wanna change baits or are you gonna stick with it? I, I mean, to win the challenge, I gotta catch one on this anyways. Yeah, that's true. I might try the other pond. Yeah, I was thinking about going over there too. It's got more structure in it, I feel like. I don't know if this looks appetizing at all, but. I like it. I mean, you should have saw these micro bass chasing it a minute ago. I was just throwing parallel like that, dude. I thought it was a blow. Oh! No, baby bass, like tiny, tiny. That's what I'm saying. No, I had a couple going crazy on it earlier. Oh, there's a big one under. Oh, dude, that was awesome. A dub, a dub. 
I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. No, don't come off. Don't come off. Dude, I saw him go up on. Oh. 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 Dude, I swear I have a shark. Dude, I've never seen a bass jump that high out of the water. Oh, what do I do? Dude, that was crazy. Oh, hold on, dude. We just got to fight him, okay? I have never in my 10 years of fishing he seen a bass. like six foot. I have never seen a bass look me eye to eye in my life. And I'm only four foot five, but I mean, <laughs> still, that's pretty impressive. Look at this. He's running. He might give us another little jump. Dude, that was, yeah, he is. He's going towards my line. Just trying to catch I'm just wearing him out, dude. Dude, that was the most epic bite ever. Dude, he, I saw him come up underneath it. Oh, here he comes. Dude, this is honestly insane. <laughs> Isn't this so much fun? Me and Adub were questioning ourselves, like who in the world would want to fish with this? But to be honest, it's probably the best bass fight of my life. It's so much fun. Watch this, dude. He's, he's dude. He's wanting to jump again, isn't he? I feel like I have a 15 pounder on. <laughs> I can't believe he's still hooked. I, I pray that I can land this fish. Oh my gosh. I mean, he got it good. That little treble hook should have him. I mean, if he's been on this long, oh, he's coming up. Wait. Did he... That one's bigger than the one that I saw. Dude, I saw his whole fat head under the bait. Yeah, no, he's pretty good. I mean, I think he's 17, Adam. <laughs> if, if I'm being honest with you, dude, I've never had a fight like this in my life, and I swear he's on the other side of the pond still. I can't believe he jumped that high out of the water. I've never seen anything like that. That's yeah, that was crazy. Well guys, this might be a little more difficult than we thought. This is insane. I can tighten my drag and risk it, but I don't want to risk it. I'd rather just fight him out. I'm serious, this is the best fight of my life. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. <laughs> Dude, he's coming in, bro. You gonna boat with him or you gonna grab him? <laughs> I grabbed mine, I was scared. <gasps> oh, I thought he shook it off. Alright, he's good. Come on. He's chunky. Okay, let's get into the, this is the moment, A-Dub. He's, he's getting worn out, finally. Five minutes later. All right, boys. We got this. Oh, come on, baby. Oh yeah, he's got this thing choked. His mouth is completely shut, which kind of scares me because of his little shredders there, man. I'm hoping, oh, he's worn out. Yeah, you fought, buddy, didn't you? You put up the fight of a lifetime. Okay, I just gotta pray his teeth aren't fraying my line here. Here we go. You gonna get him? We are on board. Dude, he absolutely choked that big. Do you have pliers? Yeah. I might need pliers on this one. Oh, it, it's not that bad. Dude, that is insane. He's only a pound and he's just, that was insane, man. I'm not gonna lie, that was the most fun I've ever had fighting a freshwater fish. I, I'm totally curious on how long I was fighting that fish, but it had to have been a solid three to four, four minutes. Well, this might be a two hour movie if we have to catch five. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, the move may be changing into three, honestly. I'm, I'm takes down us, with takes three. Takes us five minutes to land a fish. There so. we go, that's what I'm saying. There what ain't no way. Thinking? First one to three fish? Yeah, first one to three that's fish. That's a good that's fish, fair. man. I, st I still think we use the same concept, but yeah, three same fish. Concept. Listen up. We've changed the rules. You still have to catch one fish on the mini bait, but the first person to catch three fish is now the victor, the world's smallest fishing rod champion. Now back to catching big mouth bazes. Look at him, he's worn. Oh, okay, there he goes. Wow, dude, I have never seen a bass jump that high out of the water. That was impressive. That was like, cool. I've seen some spotted bass do some crazy things, but a large mouth? That was crazy. Wow, okay, well, we on board. It's honestly a versatile bait, bro. You can you can pop it, twitch it, reel it, yeah. turn it, dance with it. I think I'm gonna try to catch one more on this and then that's when I'm gonna put one of those on. But I really feel like I can catch another fish on this right here. That was crazy. That fish was paid <laughs> Dude, no way. No way. All right, please have the hook good, baby. Like right Stay pinned. Stay pinned. I don't have confidence in this hook set yet, but we'll see. 
Dude, I could finish this challenge in a minute, uh, Ado. What in the world? I just fished right here. And this one ain't doing as much as that other one. I might have him. Oh, he's a bluegill. Oh, it's a bluegill. Oh, that's sick. That counts because we said fish, not yeah, bass. Does. Oh, this is a beautiful pan, pan size. Okay, buddy. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Dude, just imagine a big bass coming up and eating him. Yeah, look at the stripes. Please come off. It, oh, dude, this is a nasty bluegill. Look at this thing. Yeah, he is. Oh, we came off. He did. <laughs> yes, let's go, dude. Oh, God. Guess what? We're still tied. <laughs> Look, I got one. Oh my gosh, bro, I almost dropped my rod. He's still on. He almost took your rod. Dude, he almost took my rod. I must have like a 10 pounder. Oh, no, my line, bro. My line's out there, it just broke. Are you getting in? Oh my gosh, dude, he's still on there. Hold on, hold on. See if you can catch it. I know we're against each other, but. See if you can catch it. Oh, dude, dude no. No, 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 no. This is not good. Dude, look at him. Look I'm at trying, him. Adub. I'm there trying. Oh, I was a millimeter short. That sucks. That honestly sucks. I feel for you on that. That's what I get for saying. So. Come off. You, jinx, you jinxed me fish, dude. Dude, look at that foil right there. Oh. Oh, oh my gosh, dude. That's what you get for using dental floss line. Dang it. That's what you get for drink, dude. We'd both be at two for the final finale. Man. I shouldn't have tightened my drag up so much. I didn't think I did that much, so I barely moved the dial. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's literally, there's no in between. No. It's either tight or it's loose. That was a pretty good fish. Guess what I have to do now? I have to rewire my whole thing. Almost lost my rod, then I lost my fish. What is going on here, man? I'm rigged back up. I think we're good to go. And next time, I'm just gonna have to let him run with the drag and just, just trust my, trust my hook. I think's what I'm gonna have to do. I think that's pretty good. It's seeming like this corner right here is pretty good. I've had two fish on right here. Look, I can cast all the way from back here. This pond looks so much better. Down here looks like a pretty good spot. That's where I'm headed. We got some cypress knees in the water. Got some grass and some little trees. Looking like a little money spot. Oh, dude, there's a bunch of activity right here. We might get slammed, boys. Oh, I, it's like my thing ain't casting no more. It's getting a little, it's getting a little tough on the on the reel here. Did my rod just collapse? There you go. Okay. Let's get a good cast here, boys. I think we can hook one. Okay, that's not a bad cast. I just don't know if reeling this thing super fast is a strategy. I want to say on that last bite, I was doing the same thing. Maybe that's just the move. All oh, these fish are in trouble. Dude, I'm telling you, this thing don't cast anymore. Yeah, see, that's as far as I can cast now. I have an idea. This might be a big brain play, or it could be the worst idea of my life. Okay, hear me out. I'm casting it there. We're going to feed our line out because our reel's just not cooperating. We're going to walk to the other edge of the pond. Here we go. Now we got a full length cast in this whole pocket. There we go. Now we're talking. Oh, this is money. Yeah, 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 it worked. It worked. It worked. And I think it's another bluegill. It's exactly what I want. Stay pinned, baby. Stay pinned. Stay pinned. Oh, no. Did he come off? No, he didn't. Yep, he's got him two fish. He just needs one more and he wins. Oh, man starting to get nerve-wracking here I've got to make something happen okay 
Let's just fight them in, boys. Let's just fight them in. All we got to do. Ease her down, man. Ease her down. Come on now. Come on now, Sonny. Stay pinned on me. I caught one in the old practice cast. I can catch this one. Is it a bluegill? I think it is. I would freak out if I had like an eight pound bass eat this thing as I'm fighting it in. Oh, it's a beautiful bluegill. It's actually a nice one. Here we go. Dude, this is a beautiful bluegill. I'm talking big one, man. Oh, it's, it's such a big bluegill. This is like the size of my hand. All right, baby. Oh, it's so pretty look at that oh man that is just a picture perfect bluegill right there look at how beautiful that thing is that look it's bigger than my hand that's insane we are one fish away boys from winning the challenge the question is do we tie on another bait or we just keep fishing this thing pretty colors pretty markings on that bluegill and we have one bass and one bluegill so far there's actually some crappie in the spawn. I don't know if we get that lucky. I feel like fishing the way we're fishing, we probably won't get a crappie, but that would be fun. Thank you, buddy. There you go. Heck yeah. So that was the strategy, man. We let the bait sit. We let all our line out, walk to the other side of the bank, and we had all that ground to cover. That was neat. Again, bro. Are you kidding me? What do I have? Like faulty line? I mean, you have two pound test. Bro. You're setting the hook like it's a shark. Golly, dude. You can't be doing Noah hook sets on that thing. Dang it. Crap. All right, let's see how terrible this bait is to cast. Got a feeling it's going to be pretty bad. Yeah. I got to try it, man. I mean, I haven't thrown it at all, so about time that I tried out my drag is ultra loose oh yeah that's terrible and I'm just gonna pull the line out and we're gonna do this number right here we're gonna work this whole entire bank dude I just pulled all the line off my reel that or it broke on the inside. Why do I keep having rigging problems? Yeah, it totally just came off the whole reel. All right, boys, we came out to this other side. Ooh, line's getting a little crazy on me. I think we can get a bite right here. I really want to try to seal up this challenge. I need one more fish. It's getting close here. Just want to go ahead and seal it up and get this dub. I think this corner might be our best spot to get a bite. Gotta be patient. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that line's just, oh my gosh. What's up, dude? It's <laughs> my buddy right there. You're kind of fly. All we need is one bite, guys. It's okay. Oh, he's, he's running with it. He's running with it. Here we go. There we go, boys. There we go. Oh, oh my gosh. This feels like a big one. That feels like a big one. He ate it right on the fall, guys. Let's just keep this pressure. If we even have any pressure. <laughs> oh, dude. This one is a lot bigger. Oh, oh my gosh. He's coming up. This is definitely bigger than the first bass I hooked. Come on, fish. Stay pinned for me, baby. Stay pin. We're just gonna fight this guy good and slow. This is for the W here. Oh, he's coming up. Oh, no, 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 he came off. That was a nice one too, guys. No way. It's a little harder to penetrate this. Even though this is a thin wire, like drop shot hook, it's still kind of hard to penetrate that hook into that fish using this rod. That treble hook gives you a little bit more to play with. You can definitely get that hook in them pretty easy. This one, definitely not the easiest. And uh, I don't think we had them hooked the whole time. That sucks, man. All right, we're going back to the stick bait. 
because I could not get bit on that crankbait. Noah is actually having to hand line right now because he broke all of his line off. The one time I don't want a big fish is right now. Oh. Is that another one? Yeah, get ready. I'm sitting here watching the show. Oh, dude. I'm telling you, I'm getting so close to it. It just keeps coming off. But what he doesn't know is that if I catch another fish, then I'm probably just going to call this a draw because he has a major disadvantage right now. Like, he literally is handlining a Cinco. <laughs> it's pretty hilarious to watch. You're fighting. I'm fighting with 10 foot, 2 pound pen. I told, I told the A-Dub channel it may end up having to be a draw. You're at a huge disadvantage right now. My drag's way too loose. Dude, I was literally texting on my phone. Come on. Come on. He came off? Uh -huh. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> he ate it again, dude. Oh my gosh. How did that happen? How did you get him in that quick? I don't know. He just ate it again. He wasn't that far out. Stop. <gasps> I got him. I got him. Did you not see him just come off? Yeah, no. And then he ate it again. I'm sitting there texting on my phone and then my rod just about gets jerked out of my hand. I'm like, okay. If I gave him this rod, he would win right now. Cause they're biting it so good. See how much I had to feed him? Is that all the line you've got? No, it's literally all the line. You just want me to end, end it, Adob? Just end it. I, have... I can't stand to watch another fish bite you and you not actually touch it, so. <laughs> what was that? Dude, one definitely grabbed it right there. My line went crazy and then all of a sudden I, I felt like it was going out more. Well, boys, we tried our best to crown our victor for the world's smallest fishing rod challenge, but we ended up with two fish each. So we are calling it a draw. Thanks for watching.